Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have filmed an autumnal get ready with me. However, I am going for lunch today. I have about 15 minutes before I have to get dressed and run out the house. But I'm looking at the weather outside and I'm thinking, I put my hair in this, like I've put like what product I'm using and stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna need to tie my hair up because the rain is so bad. But hey ho, as is the way. At least you can see now that I should be considered as having long hair again. Definitely, the bob has fully grown out. It definitely needs a cut. But in the meantime, I have just popped in what I've been using in that. Um, and I've done this autumnal makeup look using warm tones versus the cool tones in my last video. So hopefully this is a bit of a, a kind of contrasting look of what I've done with the Vive 90s palette. And this is featuring the new Huda Beauty Empowered palette. I've not got a great frame today. Like you can see the, the background of my desk and then my uh, wall partition here. So let's get jumped right into the tutorial. It is a voiceover today as it's a get ready style with me and I'm going to jump down to Good Oak which is where I'm going for lunch and figure out what the hell I'm going to wear. So enjoy this video and I will see you on the next one. Okay let's get started with doing a little bit of hair prep because so I'm using my Tangle Teaser to comb through, loosen any knots and then I tried the Purology Volume Lifting Mist. To be honest with hair is fine and as flat as mine it didn't really do much but it did make my hair super silky. Tied that up before a blow dry and got in with my Bellamyanta tanning liquid. Word of warning don't do this over your cream carpets it can get a little messy but I love putting this on with my Bali body brush. Getting right into the ears I usually leave the face and I'm going right in now with the Glowish Jam Blur Primer. Yes, you heard right, this is called the Blur Jam or Jam Blur, I can't remember, primer. It's a, a kind of silky jam of a primer. Uh, it was sent to me from Glowish and honestly, I really like it. I put it on my TikTok. It's faster drying than the likes of the YSL primer I usually use, uh, the Chichi Cola Gold Primer. But I really, really like it. If you haven't tried this, give it a little go. Then my trusty All Hours by YSL Foundation, still loving the new formula, still think for me when my skin needs a little bit extra coverage, this is the foundation I go for. It's my night out foundation, it really is my go-to for really blown out blank porcelain skin. If you love that heavy duty foundation look without feeling like you're wearing a mask, this is the perfect foundation for you. I'm actually wearing the shade MN8, which is medium neutral 8. It covers all my redness. It's got that SPF 39 in there and no white pigment. So even though it's a high SPF, you get no flashback from it. Then we're doing this face mapping. I've seen this all over TikTok. I wanted to give it a little try. I didn't want it to be so much because I was, I, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that I don't like making marks on my face and then trying to blend them because I think they don't blend right. So what I did was I'd done the marks and then blended, but I'd done it with Touche Clas, which is a softer highlighting pen rather than a concealer. A concealer gives you the coverage it sets down. It can actually oxidize around the, the marking you've made. So I decided to try it with Touche Clas because it's a little bit more flexible. The coverage isn't as high. And obviously it's an illuminating wand. So it actually is for highlighting and lifting. So I done all of the areas I wanted to lift. Then I took my Vive uh, Modern Radiance Concealer and I put some coverage into this now. So although I am making markings, I'm not making them as prominent as the, the lines that I've put up my face and obviously the concealer is the parts that I will blend out first so I'm putting them where I need extra coverage my chin the center of my face and then I've done a little bit on the edges of my nose where I usually get rub off so just really working on areas that I know I wanted more coverage and working around the radiance lift looking rather crazy then going in with my all hours foundation stick by YSL and B85 uh, I love this for contouring and putting just a touch. I decided to go a little bit heavier on the forehead because I did put my tan on so I could go a little bit fuller. Then I tried some new markings on my jaw and on my, how would you even call that? My, my outer chin? <laughs> I don't know. But this is what we ended up with. I decided I wanted to make my life easier by giving it a mist with the new YSL setting spray. It's very hydrating so I decided this will help my beauty blender, my very old beauty blender. I need to get new beauty blenders. This is actually a real technique sponge. 
But as you can see, the final result was very lifted, very snatched, a softer version of a contour for me. Then this is where things started to go wrong. I took the new Glowish powder, they're luminous powders. Uh, Glowish is a brand by Huda Beauty. I started to set under my eye and I thought, wow, I really like this. This is very brightening. It is very soft and illuminating. Then I started to set my face with it. Then I went to put on my Vive bronzer and everything started to separate. So I had to go back in with my foundation sponge and put an extra little layer of foundation over everything. Look at my face. I'm so unimpressed. I'm taking the Vive powder instead, the Modern Radiance powder, uh, and I fixed my face with that. Then I'm going in with the P. Louise Acid Rain Blank Canvas Eye Paint. Trust me, I think this is so much better than rumour. Uh, the eye base for me, I don't know what it shouldn't be because my eyes are dry, but I just prefer the Blank Canvas Eye Paint over the P. Louise Eye Base. Um, I know it's such an icon, but I just don't love it as much as I love this Blank Canvas Paint. And then I'm getting in with the brand new Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. A lot of you asked to see this. This palette is a beautiful mix of warm mattes, high glitters and shimmers, and the black and a burgundy in there are cream eyeshadows. I couldn't believe it. I was doing somebody's makeup with this, and I went to take some of the black eyeshadow and realised it was a cream and nearly ruined the whole look. So what I'm doing today is I am taking all of the mattes. So I went in with the shade Rain, and I went in, oh, I can't remember what the, the brown one's called. I'm sure you would have seen it on the screen. But I just wanted to do this lovely autumnal matte look. I can't even see what that dark purple, that aubergine colour is called. But yeah, just a standard tan wash in my crease. A beautiful mauve red matte colour. And then I'm going in with that burgundy or, or aubergine I would maybe call it. Darker matte at the outer corners. And I know I was swithering whether or not to put a little bit of shimmer on it because the palette has so many nice glitters. But look how green that made my eyes. I just really was enjoying the matte. My usual trick of my setting spray from Urban Decay and my blackout eyeshadow. And I'm doing a lovely crisp, high but thin wing here. I really wanted the wing to be very lifted but very crisp as you can see. And then I'm going in with those sweet Terry Plastic, what are they call Tang Plastic, that's a Harry They're called uh, Terrific 3D, that's what they are, or Terrific, I think they are. And then my Whiskey Pencil from Urban Decay in the waterline, I didn't want any black. And my trusty Perversion Mascara, honestly, I've fallen completely back in love with Perversion Mascara after having a bit of a hiatus. Soft and Gentle by MAC, an oldie but a goodie for me, definitely one of my favourite highlighters. My skin is quite uh, textured at the minute as you can see so I shouldn't have put that much on. But I started digging out some of my MAC colours from my Falk uh, lip kits and I decided to try Paramount by MAC. And it was expired, it smelt funny, it was going on funny, I didn't think it was nice for the look. So then I tried Taupe by MAC which wasn't expired, but I just wasn't really feeling it. I don't know if these colours are necessarily for me. I need to have my trusty old Vive uh, Rumour liner. I just can't see past it at the minute, guys. That is my lip liner colour, Vive Rumour. I can't wear anything else. It makes me feel like me. And Stark Naked by Urban Decay, which is discontinued and you cannot find it anywhere. I'm sorry if you want my recommendations for ones that are similar. Honey Love by MAC or Vive by Vive. <sighs> R.I.P. Then I took my Brow Blade by Urban Decay and I filled in my moles. So I have one on my face and I have one on my chin. I like to fill them in because they look very powdery otherwise. Um, and I like to go over them so they don't look too crazy and do it very thin. The head on the, the brow blade is beautiful for this. Then I take my Cloud9 hair dryer and I just blast dry my hair. I'm not a hair person. I honestly hate doing my hair. And then my Cloud9 straighteners. And voila, we have the final autumnal look trying face mapping and some new products as well. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one.